Hey, welcome back, knife nerds and everyday care people. And we have got ourselves a tool instead of a knife today. And I got to say, it is a pleasure to use this, uh, you know, kind of a spoiler right off the beginning here. Now, I did go and purchase a, a Kershaw TX uh, micro or precision screwdriver. And I just wasn't completely satisfied with it. And I just went out and did a little bit of searching. And I found that this Hoto... 24 and one was kind of highly recommended. So I pulled the trigger on this through Amazon. It was, it was pricey. It was about 58 bucks. Uh, you can get them in the U S right now for 29 99 at their hotel website. So there's a little bit of a savings there. And I gotta say, this is definitely, definitely worth it. It's kind of one of those buy once cry once things. And I should have just bought the, this one right off the bat, but we are going to do the head to head comparison to the two just down the road. But for now, let's have a quick look at this. All right. It comes in you know, rather nice packaging, and you have yourself some. I'm going to uh, put this uh, how to use and what all the bits are. I'm going to put that in here right now, and you can have a look at that and just pause it if you want and uh, give yourself a read at your leisure. But for now, let's just kind of go over the tool itself. And I got to say, it is a wonderful tool. The packaging is excellent too, as well. You can always tell, I think, when a company cares about its packaging, cares about, because a lot of times when you open up a postal package, the company package is your first impression of the company. And I got to say with Hoto, it is very, very good. Uh, great packaging on that. Eh, because I'm such a huge Apple fan, Apple puts its best foot, best foot forward with its packaging, you know, you know, despite it's having a great product. So that's why I mention that all the time, because I'm a huge Apple fanboy. All right. Here we have an alloy aluminum precision screwdriver with an incredibly smooth bearing here on the back that can fit in the palm of your hand and turn this. I mean, I have to say that the uh, dimensions on this is probably about five eighths. Uh, it's, you know, a little bigger than half inch, which gives you a really good grip without becoming too bulky. You know, the length itself to here is, I'm gonna say that this is, if I have a quick measure here, uh, I'm going to say this is probably, you know, four and a half inches, which again, gives you the compactness, but without, you know, being so small that it's going to stumble in your fingers. Now, the other thing that you have here is 24 bits that are onboard storage and it's magnetic based. So it's not going to rattle. Huge thing for me. I hated the way that that Kurt that uh, Kershaw TX tool was so rattly. And so ugh, I just didn't like it. It just felt not very balanced and not very nice with those bits rattling around inside of it. But this here, I don't know whoever the, the bearing manufacturer here is, is so, so smooth. It's absolutely gorgeous to, uh, or it's absolutely phenomenal to, to use. Now, the bits themselves are an S2 bit, so they're not like a cheap butter knife steel that are going to strip out. I'm not saying that they're indestructible because they are a precision set. So, but I am saying that S2 tool steel is a really, really good quality steel to use in your bits. All right, so now let's uh, have a look here. So now it does have the complete onboard storage and you'll see here, magnetic. Click. I just think that that is so cool. I just love that. Now, if you want to use yourself a bit, it's just a matter of pressing out. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Now, the other really, really nice thing about these bits are the larger size bits, as you can see, they've got the security hole in the center. So lots of times, especially with small electronics, if you're not just you know using knives, and there are some knife manufacturers out there that do put a security bit in some of their screws to prevent you from taking it apart, I guess. Uh, you will have a security bit, not just a regular Torx. Now, it does come with the three most important Torx uh, among the other, I mean, there's 24 bits in there. There's Phillips, uh, there's some uh, Torx, there's some uh, Torx without the security in the small, but it does come with a six, eight and 10. That is the minimum I think any sort of knife guy should have in any of their precision screwdrivers. Uh, I think that um, if you're gonna get yeah, a, screw, uh, a Torx uh, a screwdriver set, it should have at least six, eight and 10. Some of the smaller knife uh, screws are you know nice for uh, clips and stuff like that but most of i've seen have been six the absolute smallest and ten the, the largest so that's gonna do you now it does come in three different colors this is the green it comes in a really really nice red as well as a dark gray or almost a black and on amazon for some reason the green is the least expensive one at like you know 50 some bucks uh you know prices may have changed a little bit may have come down or gone up depending upon you know what it's like in the world but uh the one thing i have to tell you uh, is I think it, it's absolutely worth it. 
uh, you have got not an excess of slop here. Uh, let's just have a look here. Uh, let's, now, the only issue that I have with this is not an issue with the tool itself. It's an issue with my eyes. I have got terrible, terrible eyesight. <laughs> so I have to look over my glasses or I have to look um, with a light on. And, and one of the things I think I'm going to end up doing is I got to find, oh, I'm sorry, I knocked that off. One of the things I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to find a, I have a white paint marker that's really a bright white. I'm going to paint on the, the little tiny numbers and it'll fill inside the, the, the numbers. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of wipe off. And so it should highlight the numbers on here to give me a better chance at reading this uh, without having a magnifying glass <laughs> or, you know, six foot long arms. Cause you know, one of those things you gotta, you know, you gotta hold it way, way, away from you. But I mean, there is no excess slop. I mean, there is a tiny bit of turn into it, but you know what? I'm okay with that, especially considering the fact that it is an S2 bit. Uh, I think they're gonna be absolutely fantastic. I have used these already. And they have been just a joy to use. I've tightened up a few pivots with these and just give them that just a little bit of a balance. It, it, it just gives you, this tool just gives you that little bit of, of uh, torque that you need. Uh, I know that uh, sometimes when you're dealing with, you know, centering a knife and action, the balance can be so fine at how tight you tighten that pivot. And I've just noticed that this has been giving me that little bit of, you know, just that tiny one degree or two degree turn without over tightening or anything like that. I, I love this tool and I think it's definitely worth the money all day long. And um, yeah, so would I buy this again? Absolutely. If this knife, if this or if this uh, tool happens to go missing, you know, uh, Papa Bear Big Canucker is going to get himself another one. Uh, I think it's they're excellent. Now, I may also look at trying. They've got Hoto not only makes these 24 you know, in one precision, they make little kits with a uh, whole different bits in them. They also make some small uh, little electric screwdrivers too as well. Uh, I think if I'm going to be getting into maybe some of the like, just total knife modding and things like that, I might want to invest in that little electric one just, eh, just to have. All right, so... That is definitely a purchase, definitely a keep, and definitely something that you definitely want to put inside your pocket. Now, just a really quick thing that I've got coming up. This was my, the last video I had, I had a little bit of a uh, flash at the very end. If anybody could guess what it was uh, in the comments. And uh, funnily, nobody did. So either nobody's watching the end of my videos or <laughs> they couldn't tell what it was. But it is a Chavez... Ultimar Rendition 229 that is made by actually Riot. And I got to say, this was one of my grail knives. Uh, I will eventually own a Chavez uh, real, or not a same real, I'm going to say a Chavez worked on uh, knife eventually. But I just wanted to put one of these in my pocket. And so far, I am blown away. I love this and I love this clip. Some people think, eh, you know what, it's kind of gaudy. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I am going to customize this. This is going to be a user. This is not going to be a safe queen. I've been carrying this here for the last little bit. And um, once I get uh, this a little more in pocket, a little more cutting, I will do a full review on that. And I'm going to also have to say, you know, thank you to a, a wonderful gentleman out in Quebec by the name of Sylvain. I don't want to say his last name, so I don't have permission for that. But uh, he's the one who sold me this knife, and he is an absolute gem of a man. And I have to say, the other thing that that bastard did <laughs> is he sent uh, not only this knife, he sent me a crap load of uh, stuff to remove stitches and to deal with stitches. I guess he knows that uh, I like to cut myself a lot, and this knife is damn sharp. So, yeah, that's just my little bit of a fun here, and I'm going to be reviewing this next, and we'll have to say hello again to that bastard, and we'll mention this again. But, all right, hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you guys stay safe out there. We're hitting winter time. Uh, it's getting pretty bad out here today. We're going to get 30 centimeters of snow in wonderful, wonderful Canada here in uh, Lethbridge, Alberta. And uh, I'm going to be taking a drive to Calgary today in this crazy snow. So I hope you guys stay safe out there. Please, please keep your stick out of the ice. The shiny side up. This is the Big Canucker saying adios.